Hello my Sagittarius babies, welcome to Sold Out Tarot. This is going to be your general weekly reading for August 2nd to August 8th for anyone with Sag and their sun, moon, or rising. Again, this is going to be a general reading so it may not resonate for everyone, but we will see what comes up, okay? So the shadow energy, underlying energy of the week, the artist in the reverse, okay? Um, I noticed right away, Seven of Cups is underneath that, okay? So you guys may have a lot of choices or um, a lot going on, okay? Feeling very overwhelmed, like an escapism energy, okay? Um, judgment. Like this restless energy, there's creation within you, okay? And we're looking for a healthy outlet, okay? Realizing, hey, I hold the paintbrush here, Okay? Now, you guys, your energy this week, Leo energy, perfect for Leo season, the sun, okay? This is all about, the sun just knocked this into balance. <laughs> That's funny. Um, we'll touch on that in a second. That's so crazy. But we're clarifying the sun right now, okay? We have the three of wands, okay? So this is looking forward, okay? Um, looking to the future. This could be traveling, okay? A lot of you can be going to see someone take a vacation, moving, okay? But this is planning, okay, what we're doing here and finding what it is we um, that brings us our fulfillment and our happiness. So we have the Three of Wands. The Two of Wands just came out, okay? Um, which is all about also balance and discovering and planning, okay? But if you notice, we're taking a little step backwards, okay? And then the Knight of Cups in reverse, okay? What is... Um, a very passionate energy, very sweet, full of love. It's definitely, um, this night is offering a cup of love, okay? But it's unbalanced right now. So that's being withdrawn, okay? Um, there could be some disappointment there. It's like, I want to move on, but I feel stuck here a little, okay? Which would explain your challenge. Capricorn energy showing up the devil let's clarify this this could be toxicity surrounding you addictions okay um that could also mean patterns right what we do during our day just because it's a routine doesn't mean it's serving us six of wands in reverse four of swords in the reverse and the ten of swords and i think that's exactly what's going on here this cycle of wanting a victory and letting yourself get so burnt out, okay? The Ten of Swords is here. This is betrayal, okay? Feeling defeated. A rock bottom energy, okay? Not being able to take any more. Um, I like to be mindful, though. Tens are a state of completion, okay? You don't have to take any more. So that's the challenge, taking care of yourself because you can't do whatever you're doing anymore. If this was the 10 of wands, I would tell you guys, you have too much on your plate. You have too much responsibility, but that's not it. This is like ego death right now. Your soul is not letting you rest. We saw that when we were clarifying the sun, it's like, we're looking for our happiness. We want our happiness. We're looking at ways to go get it. Maybe it's here. Maybe this could be it but we're holding back love and we're coming from a place of ego. Four of swords in the reverse and six of wands in the reverse, okay? This is wanting a, a victory, but feeling defeated, okay? Withdrawing your attention, your energy, your effort, okay? It can be an energy of resentment, like you're preparing for conflict with somebody, but it's also just an energy of being so withdrawn from not only others, but yourself as well, okay? And so it's this cycle, this thinking pattern almost of it's like, I don't pay attention to myself until I have to because I really can't take any more. And then it's hard <laughs> and it's exhausting to do the bare minimum. So now we've associated taking care of ourselves with it being exhausting, right? I just had this conversation. <laughs> the other day. 
So in your focus, this is what the sun knocked into balance, okay? In your focus, it was the Six of Cups, but in reverse. So this would be a disconnection, right? Um, the Six of Cups, it is nostalgia. It does talk about the past. But it's also, I see this card as like the inner child of tarot, okay? It's like our soul. All of us have an inner child. All of us. And we always will, okay? That free spirit inside of us. There's a disconnection there. And but I just saw that sun just come out and it spun it up, you know, into balance. And that's being connected, okay? Following the voices we hear, okay? You guys are going to hear like whispers from your intuition, okay? Allow that to be your focus. Don't neglect that part of yourselves anymore because that's exactly how we end up with the devil energy, <laughs> okay? Now, in the recent past, we have the Ace of Swords in the reverse. Let's clarify this. Okay, so it's being clarified by the Nine of Pentacles in the reverse, the Five of Swords, and the Tower in the reverse. Scorpio energy coming in. So, yeah. You guys definitely had conflict, okay? There was um, potential possibly for a new beginning here. As far as, and I, I do feel it's like, um, it's more than with a person, than with a connection, okay? You guys may be in conflict with somebody right now. I do see an energy of that. I see it, okay? And that might come up more later in your reading. But this is deeper, okay? This is a cycle again and again. And the new start, never being able to like actually get traction on that because we're so cemented in our ways. The nine of pentacles in the reverse. This is an isolating energy, but it's somebody who's been working so hard at something alone for a long time. But there's this like void of a feeling, incomplete, loss, not happy with how it's going. It ends with the same thing, okay? Conflict, okay? Whether that's coming from you or people around you, you're manifesting that but it's because you're taking something that has been cemented, okay, <laughs> into you since you were very, very, very young and not even realizing you're carrying that energy with you, okay? There is a toxic pattern here, okay? A mindset, something that has been conditioned into you, okay? The tower in the reverse, this is a fear of change. That's all it is. And it's really coming in like it's mind over anything else right now. It's not so much the external circumstances, okay it's avoidance it's the inevitable truth and it's in your foundation okay that's why i'm saying that it is um something conditioned into you okay possibly from childhood it's in your shadow check out your playlist i do shadow work every month um i do spreads for that but yeah your foundation is cracked my love okay so we need to seal those cracks instead of just trying to keep building on something that's already broken, okay? So in your strength, a magician, Gemini energy, okay? The seven of swords in the reverse just came out. This is an energy, so this would be an energy of like lies, betrayal, not being able to be genuine with anyone, not trusting anybody, just like always like having to walk on eggshells, okay? It's icky, I hate that. You're coming out of this. You're like cutting your losses, okay? You're walking away from the battle, okay? You're mostly just deciding, I'm gonna go with the flow here, okay? Whatever happens, happens. It is what it is. <laughs> yeah, queen of swords, speaking your truth. Clear and cut, okay? Having the confidence to do so because why? You connected with your inner child and now you know your truth. You don't feel so insecure now. I feel like a lot of you guys are breaking patterns, okay? But this is a very organized energy, okay? It's very stable. I love it. And I mean, the overall powerful energy is a soul lesson of realizing just how powerful you are, okay? You are manifesting. You are creating your environment, your reality. You're creating who you allow access to, okay? You're creating what 
you know, you put your passion and your energy and your time and your thoughts into, okay? Fill it with love, fill it with compassion, but most of all, fill it with connection to yourself so you can discover your truth because otherwise it's just going to keep feeling like a big question mark. And there's definitely shadow work to do, okay, Sag? Like, it just is what it is, all right? Nine of Swords, that's the nightmare of tarot, okay? You're not sleeping, fears, anxieties, it's facing all of that trauma, okay? Find somebody that can help you face that, truly. Somebody that you can be vulnerable with, okay? Even if that means just connecting with yourself and a diary right now, nobody will know. But your soul is dying to speak with you. It wants to be free. Death in reverse. More Scorpio energy coming in. Okay? Just like the tower. Okay? This is the same thing. Okay? Fear. Resistance. Postponing the inevitable. Okay? There is a transition that has to take place. Okay? It's the circle of life. Just be careful because the death in reverse, this can be an obsessive energy, okay? Now, I was just about to clarify your future card where you're showing up as yourself, Sag, having patience, <laughs> um, feeling connected. So if you're not feeling that sun energy, brace yourself. We are getting confirmation here. It's going to get lighter, okay? You will be triggered. Prepare. There is change that's going to come, okay? Have patience with yourself while you go through this change. That's going to be huge. Can we get in some information on the transformation that needs to take place for Sh for Sag? <laughs> the death and reverse clarify by the Wheel of Fortune. Look, it's going to be different for all of you guys, but you need to understand that this is destiny and it's supposed to happen, okay? Cycles are supposed to end with you. I'm really happy to see that this is balanced, okay? It's good, it's good destiny, it's good karma, okay? You guys deserve good karma. When we face our fears and we do our shadow work, it's scary, of course, because we're in Trigger City. We're reliving some really hard stuff, okay? But as we go through it, we regain control in a healthy way, okay? Not in the devil energy way. And the universe wants that for us. Our souls want that for us. Okay? And we will be rewarded for it. Honestly, like, why not try? Right? Like, you've been... A lot of you, yeah, feel like there's no accountabilities. Like, for what has happened to you. So you sit angry and you sit in resentment. But you're poisoning your own soul. Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. This is disappointment, okay? Not feeling fulfilled, fear, burden, loss, okay? This is supposed to be the happy family, right? And if you notice the male, okay? The divine masculine in this energy, he's older, okay? He's very wise. It may have taken him some time to get here, okay? But now he's here and he's got the dog too. Like he's chill, he's good. <laughs> and your suggested approach, here's that seven of wands energy again in reverse, okay? Allow yourself, and I think Scorpio maybe just had this, um, to be present with your triggers. Feel inferior. Ask yourself why. <laughs> feel the emotions. If you feel anger, why? If you don't feel good enough, why? If you're feeling shame, why? Yeah, two of pentacles in the reverse, okay? You guys um, are gonna feel overwhelmed, okay? Unorganized, um, possibly be meeting blocks or being dissatisfied with yourselves or in your work, okay? Until you deal with your triggers. Now, in what you don't see coming, the moon in the reverse. So, a lot of you may be mindful that you don't um, care to revisit the past, right? Do you go down that shadow work because you know what's down there, but you might also be surprised what you don't find, okay? Layers, okay? Layers and layers of healing. There is a lot in the dark that can become illuminated and help guide you out, okay? Pisces energy here. 
strength in reverse, the four of pentacles in the reverse, the seven of cups in the reverse. Yeah, this is when you guys are really going to have to take care of yourselves here, okay? Like, depending what your story is and what you're confronting, okay, you may really want to reach out for um, support from a professional to go through this stuff with, okay? Um, because it's definitely telling me, like, be careful of escapism, okay? You're going to be triggered. More Leo energy strength in reverse fears okay wanting to give up struggling and also anger okay a lot of you are going to feel angry we saw the justice in the reverse earlier feeling like there's no accountability from others for why you're angry how do you make peace with that how do you find peace with that there's an answer but that's what needs to be illuminated okay the four of pentacles is saying like don't don't throw yourselves into feeling like your worth re, revolves around money, okay? That comes off as greed, and then it just, like, manifests financial issues, okay? So that's a message for somebody as well. And your hopes and fears, the eight of wands in the reverse. This has to do with communication. Fast communication. Possibly travel, going to see somebody. Can we clarify, please, spirit? Six of swords in reverse, the star in reverse, judgment. There is a situation here, possibly a situation ship, okay, that needs to be healed and mended. And it's both your biggest fear and your biggest hope for it to be mended because it involves judgment day both parties being willing to look in the mirror and take accountability, understanding their morals, what their purpose is, what they've done with their time here, have epiphanies, ego death, the rebirth, okay? The star in the reverse, this is trauma, you guys. That has to be faced. Aquarius energy, it will be a test of faith. And your biggest fear is that you and or this other person that you want communication with will not pass it. Remember, a lot of this is your mind, okay? Look, king of swords in the reverse, okay? You need to speak your truth. We had the queen of swords as your strength earlier, okay? You guys are evolving to the king and you feel insecure. It's okay to not know what you're doing. What I love to see right now, okay, and we'll clarify this in a second, is your outcome is the page of cups. Unexpected news and passionate news. You guys aren't pregnant, right? <laughs> it's usually a cup of love. The chariot in the reverse, queen of wands in the reverse, the high priestess in the reverse. Be careful, whatever this news is, use your intuition because right now you're very disconnected. You don't feel good about yourself, okay? You don't feel, I mean, the chariot is all about going forward, right? So you're feeling very held back, self-doubt again aggression okay be mindful of anger and aggression okay you guys could be keeping secrets or somebody could be keeping secrets from you somebody it could be a pisces or a cancer a water sign possible see this could also be you though but for some of you it will be another energy that somebody is going to come in okay and they have news to share it's somebody you haven't been in contact with okay leo aries sagittarius cancer pisces well, water's here too. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Yeah. Hmm. Somebody that felt very insecure, full of self-doubt. Something didn't take off. It didn't go forward with this person. Okay. This could be a friend. Um, I do feel like you were attracted to this person because they're showing up as the Queen of Wands, but it could be just somebody that's very passionate. Now for... Others of you, it's you that have a message. You've been keeping a secret. Something that stopped you from going forward. You felt insecure and not enough. But that's what I'm seeing here for you, Sag. Let's check out your romance oracle for this week. 
I mean, he's seeing here. Trust the timing on the star seed oracle. This one was flipped over. Trust the wave you came in on. Time is not running out. So take comfort in that, my loves. All right, and for romance, past life relationship, you have known each other before. Retreat, it's time to disconnect from the world. Release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. That's what I see for you guys this week. I hope it was helpful. If this video resonated, give it a thumbs up. Say hi to me in the comments. Subscribe. <laughs> but most of all, be kind. I love you. Bye.